Hello students. Till now, we have learned how to draw pictures like these. Do you think we can create such 3D pictures using a program? Yes. This is possible with the help of Paint 3D. So, before moving ahead, let's first understand what is the meaning of 3D. Shapes can be of two types, 2D and 3D. 2D means two-dimensional. These are shapes which have only length and breadth properties and thus they are flat. 3D shapes have length, breadth and height. Paint 3D helps us to draw 3D objects. Let's learn about Paint 3D. To open Paint 3D, press the Windows key. In the search text box, type Paint. In the list of search results, click the Paint 3D program or press the Enter key on the keyboard. This will launch the Paint 3D window. From the displayed options, select New in case you want to open a new file or click on Open for opening an already saved file. In the window that is displayed, click on the New option. Now, let's see different parts of the Paint 3D window. The menu consists of these options. New to create new drawing. Open to make changes in any existing drawing. Insert to add a ready-made image. Save to save the project on the computer. Save as means saving a file in a new location with the same or a different name. Print to print the image on paper. Share to share the image via different sources. What's new? This option provides us with the details about new updates. The settings option allows you to make changes as per your choice. The learn and feedback section gives us the option to watch different tutorials and Using the feedback section, we can give our feedback on how we like using the Paint 3D program or we can raise any complaints about the program. There are different tools available in Paint 3D. Brushes display different types of brushes under the marker panel on the right side of the screen. You can use any marker as per your choice. Let's select this marker and try to draw a shape. Below brushes, we have a thickness option with the help of which we can decide how thick we want the border of this shape to be. Then we have opacity. The opacity is the amount of light that is passed through an object. It is difficult to see through some objects like a wooden door. Such objects are called opaque. However, in some objects we can see through like a glass door are called transparent as they allow light to pass through them. When opacity is 100%, we cannot see what is behind. But as we reduce opacity, then we can see what's behind the color. Next is the color palette which can be used to change the color of the brush. Moving on to 2D shapes. This option is used to draw 2D shapes. The different shapes that can be drawn are regular shapes like circles, square, star, etc. Let's click on the shape of a star and move the mouse pointer towards the canvas. You will see the pointer change to a plus sign. Click and hold down the left mouse button and drag the pointer to draw a star. 
release the button when the star is drawn. The right panel displays more options like fill color, change line thickness and color. Now let's come to 3D shapes. In the library, we have many interactive 3D pictures available. Then there are different 3D objects and a color palette for changing the colors. Now after adding your choice of shapes, there are different options to make changes in that shape. To select multiple shapes, we can use the multi-select option. Or to select all the shapes, we can use the select all option. Next, if we want to do cut, paste or copy paste, then these options can be used. First, let's try and use the cut and paste option. And if we want to keep the shape here and want the same shape at another place too, then we will press copy and then we will paste it. This way, the shape will be added and you can drag it and place it wherever you want. Then with the help of the rotate and flip option, you can change the position of the shape. Next is the stickers tool. This tool can be used to add different stickers and textures to your creation. You can also adjust the opacity of the sticker. Here we have different emojis, different textures and under custom stickers we can also add a photo of our choice from the computer. Let's click on any one of the stickers. Click and drag it in the drawing area. To the right side of the window, more options are displayed. For example, Opacity, Matte, Make 3D, Magic Select and Rotate and Flip. To make changes to the sticker, click on any of the options and follow the steps. Do try them when you use Paint 3D. The sticker is surrounded by a dotted border on all the sides with three small circles with images inside them. These small circles are seen to the top right and left of the dotted border. Click on rotate to rotate the sticker. Click on commit to place the sticker on the canvas. Click on stamp if you want to make a copy of the same sticker. You will also see a text tool with the help of which you can add text in stylish way. For text also, we have 2D and 3D options. Let's write something here. I select 2D text, then I change the font style, then I'll make it bold and keep its alignment in the center. Then the color. Then I will write the same text in 3D. After writing, you can click on the 3D view option to check the difference between the two formats. Then we have the effect tool with the help of which you can change the theme and background of the canvas. Canvas, just like the drawing area in MS Paint, Paint 3D too has a drawing area called Canvas, where you can draw and paint. Here, you can also make a transparent canvas. Then, you can adjust the size of the canvas from this option. Then, we have 3D library. You can use this tool to add 3D images from this library to the drawing area. Let's try type ball here. We can see different types of balls here. Let's select this one. 
we will spin this ball to see it from all the different sides. You can explore and add more shapes like this. Enjoy working with Paint 3D. Thank you.